I've recently launched my own product and here in the early phase, as much as later on, feedback is super important and especially bug reporting. This right here is Gleep, a beautiful design platform that allows your users to report bugs, request features and get in contact with you. So let's test it out together. So here we are on the Gleep platform. A very simple platform and here we have an overview of all of our projects. We have our settings and then we can basically just dive in. Before we dive in, I want to show you the widget so you get an idea what Gleep is all about. So down here on Gleep, we have three options per standard. We can report an issue where we can write some text here. And then as a user, you can choose to either mark the bug. So you can see up here, I can either draw a line. Maybe I can make an arrow. I can make this specific rectangle here. I can change the color. I can make a line as you can see here. I can also undo my lines and then whenever I'm ready, I just click next and then I have my screenshot ready. I can also record my screen. So here I can press record and then it is actually recording my screen. So I can also talk into the recording. I can mute it. I can draw still while it's recording and still have all the options. So as a user, you can really help the product. And as a product owner, you just get a lot of help based on this. So let's just stop the recording for now. Let's say next. And then you can see we can submit the bug report. Going back, we can also send in feature requests. So here's just a simple way where you give a title and a text and then you send in the feature request and each project on Gleep has their own roadmap, which they can choose to make public or just keep internally. The last thing is the contact. Here, I just write a simple message and then it's also sent into the Gleep platform, which I will show you just in a moment. You can also integrate if you're using intercom. But that is the widget. Very simple. I really like the design. Let's dive into my project here. So in the menu here, we have three main modules. We have feedback, surveys, and sessions. And then within our different modules, we have even more different options. So here we can see the bugs. So here, one of my customers, which is basically myself, has said these buttons doesn't work very well on the mobile. Then I can go in, I can fix it. And then whenever I say that this is done, then this specific user will get an email telling that the bug has now been fixed. I can also send it to an integration. So here I have set up Trello as an integration. Then I can easily send it over to Trello. So I have all of my tasks there. And for each task, you can see out here on the right bar, we have some information about the user. We can mark it as duplicate. We can assign it. We can change if it's not a bug, maybe it's a feature and so on. We do also have session data here. So we can see the browser. We can see the version of the browser screen height and so on. And we can see the activity log. And the activity log is basically what the user has done. So you can see the user has clicked on path. The user has made a post to Gleeps API. The user has clicked again on this specific SVG and feedback has been received. Here we can filter the different elements if we don't want to see them. We can also send in custom data via Gleep. It's very easy to set up. And then right now I don't have replay enabled, but here I can basically replay whatever the user experienced. It is a beta version right now, but a really powerful feature as well. This is our bug Kanban board where we can sort it manually. We can search. We do also have crash reports and these are fetched automatically. I would really like a solution here where I could disable this for local host. I know I can do it in the code by myself, but if they could just ignore all the local hosts, it will be a great add on. But again, we have the conversation session data activity log in the conversation. I can also send this specific answer per email to the user who experienced this. And then whenever I'm done with this one, I can either drag and drop it over to done, or I can go in and say, this one is now done. I can also change the priority as you saw before. The same is for inquiries here. Whenever someone write via Gleep, it will be shown here and then we can email back and forth just like you've seen from other chat systems. We do also have feature requests here where I can share this board globally with everyone. Here is just under review planned in progress and completed. So whenever someone gives a feature request, it will be added here under review and then I can add it to planned or I can 
basically remove it if I disagree with that feature. I can also add more boards if I want to have some custom boards. Then we have archive and spam and then we have our dashboard. And the dashboard is just a quick overview of how it's going, how our score is, how the widget is loading and so on. Just a quick overview. It's really great. Now the next module is surveys. So here we can create a survey based on an action. So let's say that you have an onboarding flow where the customer needs to do specific things before they can start using your product. Then after that you can basically just ask how was our product onboarding flow? Would you say it was good? Was it bad? What would you like to improve? So here you can see we can make an entire flow where they need to basically give a number from one to five and in the end they can just type in something if they have something specific that they want to share with us. This is a really great feature and especially when you're building a product the more feedback you can get in from your users and your customers the better and more customized you can make your product for your customers. We do also have options here where we can collect the email address, we can change the thank you message we can enable privacy policy link and so on and then we have audience so here we can choose who should receive this feedback you can either make it dynamic and then you can choose here that it should be sent on page view session started we can also say it should only be for users and so on this is a really powerful feature and it just helps you build again a better product and based on this we can always get an overview of how it's going with our onboarding and maybe we need to improve it the last main module is sessions and here I can just see the different users who are using my platform not right now but have used it and then I can see what bugs have they experienced, what have they done, I can see the recent events over here as well and I can see the last page view also. Just a simple overview, I can then export the data or I can delete it. Now with this widget we can also customize it. So here you can see I have added my own logo, I have added my own colors. Here I can choose to hide the name, I like that it's there, it makes it very personalized. I can change the corner radius, I can change the colors, I can remove the Gleep branding, I can choose the position and then I can add a custom launcher icon. That is all we can do for the design, so we can really customize it. Now for the menu as well, we can also change. We can either remove the different elements if we don't want them, we can change the text, we can change the icon as well but we can also add new menu items. So you can see we can add a redirect to a URL, but we can also add custom options. So within a custom option, we have a custom action, and an action can do basically whatever you want it to be. So if you're using a live chat like Talk2 or Crisp, then this is the solution needs to go with. So here we need to say start live chat, just as an example, we'll add it in the description as well. And then here we need to name our custom action. So you can see here from the documentation, we need to do a little bit of coding. So here we need to register a custom action. We need to give it a name and then we can execute some code. So if you're using a live chat, for instance, then you can add this code and then make sure that it only executes within this if. It's fairly simple if you know just a little bit JavaScript, otherwise just reach out to Gleep and they will happily help you get this set up. The last thing we can do with Gleep is under developer options. Here we can enable stuff like blocks, we can enable replays, we can include static resources and we can just set a lot of different options that will make it easier for us to find the different mistakes because often the user will not reach out to you if they have found a bug, they will just quit your app and then they will never come back to you. So here for instance I have enabled crash detector which means that every time something crashes or something happens then I will get a report automatically so I can fix it. Of course it's much easier if the user reaches out because then I have screenshots maybe a recording that I can use but this will also work for me. They do also have a lot of great integrations. So you can see right now I have added Trello, but they have a lot of integrations here you can see that you can use and this means that you can basically send your bug reports or your task from Glee onto a third party system that you're using. Personally, I'm using Trello at the moment, so I have made an integration to Trello, so all of my bug reports and issues are automatically sent to Trello, and it works very well. You can choose to either do it manually, or just everything will be created automatically. The last part are just your settings. Here you set your logo, your title. We can also see how easy it is to install. So if you're using WordPress, 
then you can see that they have a seamless plugin you can just start using. If you have a SaaS company, you most likely use a web app. Here you're either using React, Vue, maybe Angular. And here you can see that it's very simple. Again, you add the library to your web app and then you just initiate this piece of code and that's it. Then it's running very simple. You can also customize it by adding the name which they have in their documentation as well. You can also enforce identity verification. You can set up here your feedback flows if you want to maybe add a new type of bug or you want to just customize it a bit more. You can translate as well Gleeb into a third language. They do have some languages up here, English, German and so on. But if they don't have your language, you can also basically translate entire Gleeb into your language and start using it. And the last parts here are very simple with project team and our email settings. Now, when we take a look at the pricing structure of Gleeb, they do have a free plan and three paid plan. And the free plan is very generous. You get unlimited bug reports, you get unlimited team members and just a lot of great functionality. But when you hopefully think that Gleeb is a great product, just as I do, then the growth plan is where value really lays within. Here you get a ton of functionality, you get unlimited of almost everything, and you just get a product that is seamlessly integrated into your workflow. And this pricing compared to the alternative is quite cheap. You really get a lot of value for the money. And Instabug, which is the first alternative, is the enterprise solution between all of these bug reporting tools. I will say I feel that Gleeb is a much more nice tool to look at. It works more seamlessly and it's just easier to work with. The other alternative is Marker.io. And Marker.io started simply as a drawing app. You could take a screenshot, you could write on it, you could draw some arrows. And this was the start of them making a bug reporting tool. And I will say Marker.io is below Gleeb. They do not have as much functionality as Gleeb. And the features that Gleeb are working on right now are really interesting. So Marker is more for if you want an advanced editor for your users to be able to bug report because you get an entire view within Marker.io where you can really sit and draw and make very specific sketches. Here Gleeb is more simple. You can basically draw a rectangle around the area or you can record your screen. Very simple yet very powerful. Gleep is a product in rapid development and they are developing so many features very fast. And the first thing that they are working on right now is a chatbot. So for your Gleep, not only do you have bug reporting, you have a roadmap, you can get your users to send in feature requests and so much more. Now they are also adding a chatbot. And here I think they need to be a little bit careful because right now they are focusing on a lot of different areas and the quality really depends on how they're gonna nail this chatbot. So we'll have to wait and see. It will come within a couple of weeks. The next thing they're working on is a simple activity log. So we can see each bug request or each task within our roadmap, what has happened to it? Has it been sent to Trello? Has someone commented on it? When did we create it? And so much more. So we can easily backtrace the different elements we want to find and find it fast. Furthermore, then they're working on an ability so we can create bugs on behalf of users. So if someone on Twitter tweets to you about your product that some specific feature is just not working, then you can go in and create a bug report via your customer's email. So the customer will receive an email whenever this bug is resolved. And the last element they're working on is a due date. And this is a simple feature where we can set due dates on the specific bug reports but I will say that it's limited how much personally I will use it because I extract all my tasks into either my own product or into Trello. So we'll have to wait and see. Now, after using Glee for some time, I really like the UI and the UX. It's easy to use, it's modern, and it just makes everything so much better. And then the fact that we can record and see screenshots from our users which makes it possible for us to just solve these bugs so much faster. But there is one thing I really want them to improve and that is the live chat integrations. Right now you can't just plug and play a solution in where you add your chatbot unless you're using Intercom. 
you have to add a custom action if you want to add your chatbot. If they could add just a plug and play solution where, just as we saw with the integrations, could integrate our chatbot into this Gleep widget, then it will be almost a perfect widget because everything else is just working so, so well. Now, should you go ahead and buy Gleep? I will say that if you're running a SaaS company, then you should absolutely go ahead and buy Gleep. It will just help you handle the bug reports, feature requests, and overall just help you build a much better product. Overall, I have been really impressed by Gleep. It has already helped me a lot, and I just can't wait for the future to see the different features they will develop. I want to give Gleep four and a half stars. All the integrations just work so seamlessly together. The only thing is just a chatbot integration. If they hadn't plug and play solution on that, it would have been five stars. That's my review. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.